finally the code on the right of your screen calls a method named crop and flip passing the reference to the butterfly image as a parameter in addition to the butterfly image several integer values are passed as parameters as well the return value from the crop and flip method is stored in a local reference variable of type picture named PICC. I will put the explanation of the run method on temporary hold at this point while I explain the method named crop and flip. The crop and flip method begins on the right of your screen. The behavior of the crop and flip method is to crop a picture to the specified coordinate values and to flip it around a vertical line at its center. In addition to a reference to the picture which is to be cropped and flipped, the method also receives four incoming integer values as parameters. The parameters named x1 and y1 specify the coordinates of the upper left corner of a rectangular area of the picture that is to be retained after it is cropped. The parameters named x2 and y2 specify the coordinates of the lower right corner of the rectangular area of the picture that is to be retained. So here is a question for you. If x1, x2, y1, and y2 are integer horizontal and vertical coordinate values, what is your interpretation of the code that I am highlighting now? The code on the right of your screen begins by instantiating a new empty picture object of the correct size to hold the cropped image. By empty picture object I mean an object of the class picture with an all white background. The reference to that new picture object that is returned by the constructor is saved in the local reference variable named output. Then the code gets and saves the width of the output picture. Following this the code declares two local working variables named pixel and color which are respectively of type pixel and type color. The code now showing on the right of your screen uses a pair of nested for loops to cause the output picture to be a cropped version of the picture that was received as an incoming parameter. In addition, the cropped image is flipped around its center. The code copies the pixel colors of the selected pixels of the incoming image to the pixels of the output image, flipping the image around its center line in the process. If you display the picture referred to by output in the code, you would get the 
butterfly image shown on the bottom right of your screen. If you compare the image on the bottom right of your screen with the image on the bottom left of your screen, you will see that pixels on the outer edges of the original image were discarded and the resulting image was flipped around its center line. The code in the upper right of your screen returns a reference to the new image and ends the method named crop and flip. That returned value is stored in the variable named PICC showing in the bottom right of your screen. It is important to note that the original image was not modified in this process. Instead, the code in the crop and flip method extracts pixel data from the original image in order to produce the new image. When control returns to the run method on the right of your screen, a reference to the new cropped and flipped image is stored in the variable named PICC. Control has now returned to the run method, so we will pick up where the code on the right of your screen left off. The next statement in the run method is shown on the bottom right of your screen. This code calls a method named copy picture with crop passing references to two picture objects shown as pick A and pick B along with some coordinate information. Let's put the explanation of the run method on temporary hold again while I explain the method named picture with crop that is now showing on the right of your screen or at least the beginning is showing on the right of your screen. The first two parameters to this method named source and dest are references to a source picture and a destination picture. The source picture is the original butterfly picture shown here. The destination picture is the beach picture shown here. This method will copy a portion of the source picture into the destination picture. In the process, it will apply an offset on both axes after first confirming that the portion will fit. If the portion won't fit, this method simply does nothing. The copy process causes selected pixels in the destination picture to be replaced by pixel colors from the source picture. The parameters named 
x off and y off in the code on the right of your screen. Specify the location in the destination picture where the upper left corner of the cropped source picture is to be located. If we were to go back and look at the earlier code, we would see that the call to this method passes the values 82 and 70 for the two offset parameters. This is the location of the upper left corner of the leftmost butterfly image that you see here. The parameters named XCOOR and YCOOR specify the upper left corner of the rectangular area of pixels that is to be preserved when the source image is cropped. If we were to go back and look at the calling code, we would see that coordinate values of 4 and 5 were passed for these two values. These are the same values that were passed for essentially the same purpose when the method named crop and flip was called earlier to crop and flip the butterfly image. There are two commonly used ways to specify a rectangular area in programming. One way is to specify the coordinates of the upper left and the bottom right corners of the rectangle. That is the approach that was used in the crop and flip method that we looked at earlier. The other way is to specify the coordinates of the upper left corner and then to specify the width and the height of the rectangle. That is the approach used in the copy picture with crop method now showing on the right of your screen. I decided to use both methods in this program simply to illustrate the two methods. Therefore the parameters named width and height in the parameter list on the right of your screen specify the width and the height of the rectangular area of pixels that is to be preserved when the source picture is cropped. If we were to go back and compare these parameters with the parameters used with the crop and flip method earlier, we would see that the same rectangular area of the butterfly image is being preserved after cropping in both cases.